Oh, what's going on, Brand Doctor Hangout peeps? Hope everybody is having an amazing day. And today I want to talk about storytelling. And how important it is when it comes to building your brand, what goes into a great story, what goes into a horrible story, what goes into a story that actually connects people, how does storytelling help you make money? So all of these things we are going to discuss today. So feel free to chime in, <clears throat> feel free to contribute to the conversation. Um, I invite all of you guys to uh, this discussion. This is why Facebook Live exists. It's to interact and engage and dialogue with you folks. Um, it's not just me shouting at you and uh, preaching to you or, you know, uh, doing all this lip service uh, for you. All right, so storytelling. Sharon, love the topic because I need to get a ton of practice in this area. As an aside, been watching the FLH 2016 videos and you are all over them. <laughs> yeah, uh, that was that was a great year um, for me and ClickFunnels. I was introduced to ClickFunnels uh, just a year prior to that or two years prior to that. And it's just been a, a game changer for my business. My business is heavily uh, involved with ClickFunnels and it really helps me take my it really is helping me take my business to the next level so for those of you guys that don't use click funnels inside your business i highly advise that you do that um and you can get the affiliate link uh, on uniquefunneldesigns.com if you want um to get your i think it's a 14 day free trial or something like that so anyway uh storytelling there was a story right there wasn't it <laughs> um but um there was this experiment that was done not too long ago, or actually it was a while ago, that there was these, there was two individuals that went to these yard sales and would buy literally the junk that people were throwing out um, for three, four, five dollars a pop, right? And then what they would do is take each, each um, piece of or item that they bought and they would write a story about it and share that story to their audience. And it's crazy. The products that didn't have a story attached to them sold for far less than the, the products that had a great story about them. So let's talk about that for a second. So when we think storytelling, we think, okay there's a character that has a problem that finds some sort of conflict and can't get through the conflict and they seek for some sort of solution and then the rest is history you know story over but it's everything and the small little things in between is what really makes that story powerful. And so I don't know if I told you guys yet, but I'm going to be speaking at the guerrilla marketing event in Orlando, Florida. I think it's May 2nd to 3rd or 3rd to 5th. I forget, but it's around there. Um, and I've been thinking about how I want to position that presentation and, and how I'm going to deliver that presentation. And it's going to be very, very simple. It's, a, it's going to be a presentation about branding, obviously, because that's my expertise. However, um, I figured I'd tell a really impactful and insightful story and sort of pull out and snapshot the important parts of that story to help the folks that are going to be there help build their brand. Okay, and it's going to be a story about me. It's going to be a story about how Unique Designs was born, um, how I struggled tremendously, how I resurrected the business five years ago, and now it's at a level that I've never even dreamed of having it be at, right? And so getting back to that story, though, that I wanted to talk to you about, that little experiment that they did 
on placing story behind the item that was purchased for three, four dollars and then selling it for 30 times what they bought it for because the story was so impactful. Just think about, think about your business, right? And think about the story behind it. How did you create that business to begin with? Why did you create that business to begin with? What were the trials and tribulations that you experienced when you were building out your business? How important is that to talk about when it comes to building brand? It's extremely important. It's extremely important because that information gives people something to latch on to. It gives people that, that backstory, that feeling of emotion that resonates or does not resonate with your audience. And so, you know, I could, I could dive deep. I can go as deep as you want. But one of the things that you're going to realize is this, the deeper you go, the more impact you're going to have on your audience. The deeper you go, the more impact you're going to have on your audience. And so again, it all comes down to why you created that business in the first place and how that impacts you as the entrepreneur and business owner of that business and how it impacts how it impacts your audience, right? So look at Russell Brunson's story, for example, over there at ClickFunnels. He's got a tremendous story. Lackluster student, uh, got through college because he was an amazing wrestler by the skin of his teeth, but was an amazing wrestler, got out of college, didn't really know what to do with himself, started with this online game, built himself up to this big internet marketing guru, if you will. And eventually uh, his credit card companies all (laughs) turned on him. And he was once sitting high on the hog and then lost everything. 100 person sales call team uh, or or sales team to down to two or three people uh, was not able to collect any more money online. So can you imagine what that does to a family, to a, um, an entrepreneur, a boss, you know, an, a, a, a CEO of a company when this all happens, it's devastating. And eventually he built himself back up and got back on the horse and did it all over again and then crashed again, came back up. And then he it discovers Todd Dickerson um what's the other guy's name god for, oh my apologies for losing his name forgetting his name the the programmer guy oh the user experience guy i'm so sorry it's it's not coming to me now the name but um he uh he finds these two folks and he builds click funnels and now click funnels is changing the world as we know it on the online digital space uh, on it, it brick and mortar businesses that are implementing it and executing with it. And now he's a hundred million dollar business. That's powerful. In what was it? Three. I think it's in four years. I think ClickFunnels is four years old now, hundred million dollars a year. It's powerful. Right. And I know Russell personally. So Russell is, you know, the salt of the earth when it, when it comes to, when it comes to a human being, and you know the the, the that the schools that he builds in Kenya with Stu McLaren. This is all part of his story, right? <clears throat> if ClickFunnels was just a landing page builder with no backstory to it, it's just another sterile software as a service business. And they're a dime a dozen. They're a dime a dozen. So. That's how ClickFunnels stands out tremendously from the crowd. 
and really has positioned themselves as the 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 go-to so you know storytelling and how well you tell a story is going to Im excuse me impact your audience either on a deep level or a surface level and what i want you to do is i want you to think deep i want you to evoke emotion out of your story and out of your audience and if you could get them to cry, if you could get them to laugh, if you could get them to get mad. I talked about this in, in, oh my God, it was months ago on a Facebook Live. And it had everything to do with evoking emotion out of your audience and drawing the line in the sand, you know, being that polarizing figure. And really getting down to the deep emotions that run through your audience. And I can't preach this enough, but the more you know about your audience's struggles, challenges, pain points, what keeps them up at night, and the more you speak about those, the more attention you will draw, the bigger community you will build, and your brand is going to be remembered. And so if you're not studying storytelling, Okay, you, you, you aren't making that impact as much as you should. So shame on you. <laughs> but real quick, what I want to do is I'm going to share with you a really cool piece of um, documentation that if I can find it. Yeah, there we go. I'm going to share with you a, a cool piece of documentation that I use that I've gotten from one of my mentors um here we go a while back oh. and it kind of will help you walk through the phases of a great story Let's see if i can open it up here i don't know if i'm going to be able to do it on this Maybe, see what happens. Yeah, we got it, sweet. All right, so check this out. I'm gonna share screen. And I'm gonna walk you through this process, okay? So this is from StoryBrand. This is Donald Miller's camp. Donald Miller's a great guy. I got to see him speak and meet him at um, Trafficking Conversion last year in San Diego. Really good guy. And um, I got his course and I wanted to understand storytelling better and really understand the elements that goes into a great story. And this is sort of the outline that he gives that really helps you define a great story and tell a great story. So there's a character with a problem who meets a guide who understands their fear. That guide gives that individual, that character, a plan and that calls that character to action that results in either great results, successful results, or failure, tragic results. And so let's unpack this a little bit because I think this is very, very important for you guys to get. So when you're looking at the character, who's the character? The character could be your target audience, your specific user profile. The character could be you. And what does that character want in life, want in business, want so badly that they're willing to do whatever it takes to get it, All right? And jot that down right? And talk about that. Okay. And then find out what their problems are. Find out what is the external issue that's going on. Is it their location? Is it something that has been uh, happening over and over and over again from a competitor, for example, you know, that is killing their business, right? 
What are the internal issues? What are the limiting beliefs that they have? What, what are they telling themselves every single day that's holding them back from accomplishing whatever it is that they want? And then what is that philosophical problem that is sort of the 30,000 foot, the big picture problem that they're trying to solve? Like when I explain this to clients, I explain it in a way where it's like, if you take a Star Wars movie, right? And you look at the big picture, is the dark side going to win the battle or is the rebellion going to win the battle? Is, is evil going to take over the world? or is good going to take over the world? And that's what we want to know. One second. All right? So this is what we need to find out about our audience or, or about our character before we move forward. So during the journey, that, that, that character meets a guide who understands their fear. So for example, me, back when 2013 or so, when my business was taking a huge dump, my guide was Russell Brunson. He was the guy I found on the internet first. And I signed up for his $10,000 program when I didn't have $10,000 at all. I was actually negative in my bank account, but the good news was is I had credit. And so I put it on the credit card and I pushed through and he became extremely empathetic to me, but he was also the, my authority. He been there and got the t-shirt and he was going to show me the way out because he was there. He understood what I was going through. He hit rock bottom. And he gave me the, the motivation, the guidance, the wisdom, the understanding to get out of that and to bring me to the next level, right? So he gave me a plan. Use ClickFunnels. Here's what we need to do inside of ClickFunnels. Here's the funnel. Here's the offer. Here's what we need to create in order to attract the right audience. Right? He gave me the plan and then he showed me how to do it. He said, here's the lead magnet you should be using, right? Or here's the offer that you should be using. He was the one that sort of made me remind myself. Well, no, he was the one that told me about the subscription model, right? The monthly membership type model, right? And so I, I started to really brainstorm and say to myself, how do I create that in a design? Back then I was just doing design work. How could I implement that in a design program? And so we called it Designs on Demand and we crushed it. We crushed it so much that I had to shut it down because I had too many clients and not enough staff to, to, to serve them. And so that was also a lesson learned where if you don't have the infrastructure to roll out a program, don't roll it out. Build out the infrastructure first and then roll it out. Right? So that was the call to action, right? And then that resulted in sort of both for me, great success, but for that particular program, the designs on the man program, but the failure was I didn't have the infrastructure to with, 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 withhold it, right? To maintain it. And so, but we got that fixed right away. That, so that was the, that was the growing pain. And that was how I was able to um, build out my team. And when I built out my team, it was game over. It was game over. And that helped tremendously build this business to what it is today. And so that is the framework that you can use when you tell stories. So it's a character with a problem external, internal, philosophical, who meets a guide who understands their fear, empathy, authority, who gives them a plan, calls them to action that results in success and failure, and or failure, I should say. So that's it. That's what you need to know in order to tell your story in a way that resonates and connects with your audience. And the more theatrical you can make that story, the more emotions you can pull 
by telling that story, the more you're going to win, the more you're going to win. And that's how you're really going to build brand. And I can go on and on and on. There's people out there that have tremendous stories. Dan Meredith is another guy. He's got a great story. He was a raging alcoholic. He was in and out of jobs. And finally he said, enough's enough. I'm quitting drinking. I'm going to do everything in my mind to get my life together, to get my direction and life together, my mission together. And I'm going to create something that's going to change people's lives. And he did. And just a couple of years it took to now he has, I think it's over a million dollars worth of business a year. He serves hundreds of entrepreneurs and, and business owners uh, online, offline uh, a year, just serving them with his insight. And he's just got a great story. Now there's more to it. I'm abbreviating it for this for this video, but that's it. And so this is the power of storytelling. And that's what's going to help you build brand, right? I could, you could just show people how to do things or you can share a story in a monotone or very drab way, or you can evoke emotion. You can get them to cry, you can get them to laugh, And that's going to differentiate your story from all the other boring stories out there. And one of the things that you need to understand is this, because I know this happens to a lot of us. We think, we think that our story is boring. We think that we live a life that just isn't that exciting. And why would anybody want to Listen to my story. Well, guess what? Get out of your own way and realize that your story is one in a million. Or I should say one in seven billion. And people want to know why you do what you do. And the only way that you can explain that is through story. So get out of your own way. Stop thinking these negative thoughts like nobody cares. Why would anybody care? I don't live an exciting life. If you tell yourself that, you're creating that reality for yourself. When it's 99.999% not true. So get out there and tell your story. And if it means that you got to break through that fear and start writing or get in front of that camera. Whatever you got to do, you got to do it. You got to do it. Enough's enough already. We're not getting any younger. We're not getting any younger. Next thing you know, we're going to be 90 years old and we're going to look back and say, shit, I wish I'd done that. I should have done that. We should have done this. I should have done that. Tony Robbins says, and we should all, we should, we should all over ourselves. <laughs> right? So that's the, that's the storytelling piece of building brand. And to wrap this up, remember, remember the more impactful you can make this story, the more you're going to be able to sell what it is that you're trying to sell. Think back to the, 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 the study that those two guys did where they went and they created story around those little knickknacks that they bought for three, four dollars a pop and so turn around and sold them for three grand because they created this crazy story, right? Sharon says, so true. I always think no one will want to hear my story. Time to get out of my own way and share. Absolutely, Sharon. Start right now. Start by writing in the comments why you started your business in the first place. Can you answer that question for me? What happened in your past? What happened in your past that made that spawn this idea? Right? I'm working with a doctor in Australia and he 
is an amazing individual. He's been a doctor now for 15 years. And he has a program that helps doctors, general practitioners, um, pass this, pass this course, pass this exam. Right. And when he first presented this, this is a perfect example. When he first presented his business, I thought it was like a prep course. I thought it was a couple hundred dollars. You get this prep course and it helps you pass the test. And that to me was very bland. It was very vanilla. It was sort of a commodity, if you will, because there was a few other people doing the same thing, right? Sort of boring, right? However, when we opened up Pandora's box, when he came on board and we started going into deep discovery on what it is that he stands for, what it is that he wants to do in the future, his experience as a physician, the trials and tribulations again that he went through over the past 15 years, we realized that his audience, they wanted, the, they wanted the prep course to help them pass the test. But what they truly wanted was his wisdom. And so when we opened that up, we found other revenue streams that were going to, that were going to help him generate more revenue for his business. Prior to not prior to knowing all of that, he was just a prep course. So he's telling me these stories and telling me how, uh, and this guy is very spiritual. He's very, very in, in tune with his target audience because they're fellow physicians. Right. And I told him, take Damon John, for example, and take his FUBU brand for us by us, take that same concept that apply it to your business and you will dominate because you are a, you are one of them. Right. And so we mapped out different revenue streams to potentially uh, level up the value that he could provide to his clients, to his community, to fellow physicians. And now he's sitting on a million dollar business. That's the power of story. So I want to get back to Sharon for a second. You know, we asked, why did Sharon start her business in the first place? What spawned the idea? And she says, because I have been challenged by chronic pain and illness for 37 years. Up to and including a sudden cardiac arrest. But I'm still here. Thank God you're still here, Sharon. Need to help other folks with chronic pain to stop suffering and take back their lives. Sharon. That's a beautiful story. And thank God you're still here. You know, thank God you're going through that. I shouldn't say thank God you're going through that. That's not what I meant. Thank God you're here because now you can share those pains with your audience. And I'm sure that you can unfold and unravel some serious stories that I bet you thousands of people can resonate with that are probably going to want to know more and get your help to do it. And so that 37 years of pain and suffering needs to be told. It needs to be told because you holding that back, you're doing your audience a disservice. You're doing a disservice because they don't know. So that's the power of stuff. I mean, you've got me, you've got me so curious now I want to know more. So I don't even think you realize you did it, Sharon, but just by telling me that you've been in, you've, you've suffered and challenged with chronic pain and illness for 37 years. That's, that's how old I am. <laughs> so for basically my entire life, you have struggled with chronic pain and illness. I couldn't fathom that.
that's that's very interesting you know and and what i want to say is you know i'm sorry that you went through that but that that experience and that past it's time to take it and start sharing it as hard as it may be sometimes and start helping other people with it and so that's what you want to do and chunk it up chunk it up into little bite-sized pieces that's all you got to do i talked about it the other day i talked about it before don't try to move the mountain all by itself or or, or at one shot i should say don't try to move the mountain in one shot move it in little pieces chip away at it right so i'll give you some other practical advice I'll give you some other practical advice. Theme out your weeks. Talk about one specific theme or topic per week. And each day share another tidbit about that theme. So by the end of the week, they're going to be like, okay, way better off than when I started on Monday. And they're going to get to really know you too on a deeper level. And so that's how I built my business up over the past 10 and a half years. And when things started to get really commoditized in the design world, I said, I got to get myself out there. So I leveraged social media. I leveraged social media. And I began really putting myself out there. And that was one, one of the recommendations that Russell Brunson had for me. Get out there and start sharing that personality. Start sharing those stories. And boom, here I am. So that's it, my friends. Sharon, thank you so much for being part of the show today and part of this topic of conversation. I invite all of you guys that might have missed this to catch the replay. Um, and if you aren't following me on social, um, I shouldn't say social media, on YouTube yet, um, we're going to produce this video on YouTube. And so head over to Unique Designs um, on YouTube and subscribe. We have, I think I have close to a thousand videos now and climbing um, all on helping you build strategies to build brand and help more people with whatever it is you're trying to sell with your business. So there you have it, guys. Have an awesome day and I'll catch you on the next video. Take care.